Welcome to Cooking with Chef Jojo. It's nice to see everyone again. Today, we're going to be picking out steaks. And I know everybody loves steaks. It's just that we have to find the one that is perfect for your taste buds. All right? So we have three different steaks today. We have a filet, which is very lean. We have a New York strip, which is marbleized, but it has that nice crunch on the end when you grill the fat. And then we have a ribeye, which I think is everybody's favorite, okay? If you want the most flavorful, a ribeye is definitely the way for you to go. It's absolutely flavorful. Um, the filet, that's for someone to just look for a lean, very, very lean piece of meat. You could put um, nothing with it. It's just so great that you don't have to accompany it with anything. And then the New York Strip is a classic, but timeless, will never go out of style steak. Um, the biggest thing that a lot of people try to do at home and don't understand how to do it at home is get in this nice crunch on the outside fat cap. And I'll tell you the secret, sugar. Just a little bit of sugar in which you're seasoning and the grill will actually crunch it for you and caramelize it for you. So it's really, that's where you get your crunch and a little bit of sugar. The biggest thing is when you are going to do steaks and vegetables, make a versatile seasoning. Make your season with salt, pepper, garlic, um, onion powder, a little bit of sugar. You can even put the sugar on the vegetables. They have a better flavor profile and they also just have a better taste when you bite into them. A little sweet and then boom, it's the vegetable afterwards. So after making a great seasoning, you can use it to season both sides of the meat. If you want more flavor, do not miss the side caps. Those are also, since that's the part you want to eat anyway, make sure you get those little side parts with the seasoning. It's best to put your seasoning in a shaker, just a regular shaker with the holes on top of it and just shake it that way. Um, my favorite thing to do is make one big thing of seasoning that all I have to do is add maybe some Cajun seasoning if I'm making chicken or some Old Bay if I'm making pork or, you know, whichever, whatever it is. Um, so the shaker, you sprinkle it on both sides of the steak. And then when you're grilling, the hottest part of your grill is the back. Always the hottest part of your grill is the back. So when you put this on, you want to put it on with the bone towards the back. Okay? All right. And then afterwards, when you are grilling the steak, I did not flip it after the first one. I turned it because since that side is already being cooked, if you turn it, it will continue to cook to the right temperature that you're looking for. And then on the third one, then you flip. You will get great diamonds when you do it that way. Uh, I think that's a task that everyone thinks makes a great steak. So if that's something that makes a great steak for you, you really want to know how to do it. And that's the way to do it. Steps to making a great steak. Step one, pick your steak. What are you in for? Flavorful, lean, or just juicy? That's how you pick your steak. Step two, you're going to turn on your, your broiler, your grill. Whatever you're trying to cook it on, that's what you want to turn on next. You want it to be nice and hot when you put the steaks on there. Step three, after you pick your steak, if it's a steak with a bone, it has to be tenderized. Uh, you could tenderize it with a jacquard. I personally do not believe you should use the mallet on a, a steak because it just squishes out all the juices out of it. It's not a juicy steak afterwards, but if you use a, a tenderizer, it just punches hole in the meat and then all the flavor is just going into the meat that way. So definitely do it that way. Step four, you're going to season completely around. Step five, you're gonna open up your nice hot grill. You're gonna take the bone, turn it towards the back of the grill, which is the hottest part of the grill. Best temperatures are usually about 450 to 500 degrees. That's what you want to have your, your grill at. And then when you put it on there, you're gonna turn, you're gonna turn. When you turn it, flip it over, you're gonna see that beautiful diamond on the back, okay? And you're gonna do the same thing again for the other side. To prepare a rare steak, you would do about two minutes, turn two minutes, flip two minutes, turn two minutes. 
to do a medium rare, you just add an extra minute to each step. And as you go up, you wanna add an extra minute for each um, level of uh, temperature, what temperature you want for your steak. So definitely do it that way. So while your steaks are cooking, best thing to do, grab your vegetables or any accompaniments that you want to and put it on the grill. You use the front part of the grill because since it's not as hot, it won't burn your vegetable. Just give it a nice sear and cook the inside. I prefer my vegetables to be al dente, which is got a little bit of crunch in the middle bit, in the middle, but it's nice and soft to the touch. And so asparagus, carrots, peppers, are usually your favorite things to go on there. Should you decide to use tomatoes, tomatoes are the one thing that you're going to put on there only, and I do mean only, 45 seconds on each side. That's it, you just want to sear, and you'd be amazed at how much it opens up the flavor for a tomato, okay? And then step seven, the best part, eat. your nice medium rare steak right there okay look at all the juices that are still there I didn't lose any of the flavor I didn't lose any juices it's everything is there it's wonderful it's absolutely wonderful so now we know the secret for you to make great steaks at home this is it okay all right so You've been to the Capitol Grill before, so you know that we offer a lot of things, not just wonderful steaks, but we offer dried steaks as well. Now we're doing our butcher box. So in our butcher box, you can do all three of these meats if you want to. You could do two of the strips, two of the um, ribeyes, and you can get them all in here. We give you the season, we give you the sauce, the steak sauce, and the steak sauce, doesn't necessarily have to go on the steak. It's actually great for the vegetables. Really great for the vegetables. So you could do it that way. Um, and everything comes in this little box for you with the grilling instructions for you. In case you don't want to use the grilling instruction, you can always just watch the video. I'll go through the whole thing with you again. All right? Thank you for joining us. Everyone, please be safe and take care of each other. Until next time, we'll see you cooking with Chef Jojo.